hello everyone today i'm talking about cheap perfumes what is a cheap perfume what is about and some examples of my favorite ones classic and modern so if this is something that you may like please stay tuned Welcome, I am Ruth Mejia and this is Ruth All Things Beauty here to talk about perfume, skin and hair care, books, motivation and self-improvement. And the topic of today is Chic. Thank you Dana from a nose nose <laughs> for helping me to pronounce it better because it's a very difficult word to say and it, it, it has many, uh, and I like to try to do my best to say it appropriately, right? Chic is um, an accord and it, it, it dates for many, many years back, but is in 1917 when Francois Coty created his perfume, feminine perfume ship, that it became like very influential. Why it, it was named like that? Because mo at the time, most of the raw materials were coming from the Mediterranean, specifically for an island that is called Cyprus, and the French way of saying is Chip, and this is how it uh, Francois Cotty creation became so so popular that it's now a family in the perfumery. It was not the first perfume using the term or using the 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 notes or the accord, but it was he he was kind of an influencer. And he is the one that made it mass marketed. And, and because before that, perfumes were for wealthy people, aristocrats, royalty, and things like that. And this is the one that was available for everybody. And it became so popular. It was appearing in movies, in books, in novels, everywhere. And this is how it became a phenomenon that transformed also modern perfumery. Now, the. Uh, what it's what makes a, a chic perfume it is an accord that has three distinct um, notes which is a citrus in the top nose in the top note sorry and it has labdanum in the in the heart that sometimes is combined with flowers like jasmine or rose and it has oak moss in the base and sometimes an animalic note like civet now oak moss was banned by ifra in 2012, IFRA is an organization that regulates perfumery because it has a, is an allergenic. So in modern chips, the uh, oak moss has been used as a synthetic one that is called Evernil and some others, or also combination of other woods like patchouli, berry bear, and so forth to recreate the note. And it's less often nowadays to have animalic notes also for the same reason. For ethical and, 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 and other reasons, it's very hard to source the materials and things like that. And then this has become a family that have so many other subcategories. Like per Michael Edwards, the perfume wheel created in 1992, it has several denominations, like it can be a ship floral, uh, leathery, aquatic, fresh, and so forth. So I will not go deep into the describing the perfumes that I will show you, but this is some that I love, and I have some classics, and I have some more modern. And um, starting with classic, I cannot left this out this is mitsuko this is a cheap fruity it's amazing so the modifier note here is peach and i have this one in different presentations because this is one of my favorite galant this presentation here i hunted down because of neringa um a life through her lens she makes beautiful pictures with this uh, presentation and I found it. And I also have uh, a little bit of a straight, the perfume as well. This one is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Um, now, if we go to a flora chip, we have Knowing. This is 1992 by Steel Lauder. 
a beautiful one it has been um reformulated but it's still very good and um i also have jampa 2 southern this is heavy on vetiver it's amazing as well this is more woody and we have a fresh chip that is CK1. This is a limited edition bottle, but the fragrance is the same. Uh, another example will be um, Manuel Ungaro Diva. This is floral as well. Very beautiful, this one, especially if you can still find a vintage bottle. Another that I love, because look at this, my lips. This is um, Salvador Dali Parfum de Toilette. This is beautiful. This is shape of floral and also has Narcissus and Tuvogos. And is this is a powerhouse. It's strong, it's loud, it's potent, but it's so elegant and beautiful. And I think still today is 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 modern. It's a timeless one. I love this one. Heavy, heavy, heavy one. It's Paloma Picasso. This is the other perfume. This is very strong, very strong. And a man can wear it. This is another characteristic of the Chic perfumes. They tend to be very androgynous. Even the classic that were marketed for women, a man can wear it because they're this very unisex. Now they're marketed men and women or unisex. It doesn't matter. If you get a classic, a man can wear it, I'm telling you with confidence. This is an empty for Paloma Picasso. I also have another modern interpretation is Come La Luna. Come La Luna by Bois 1920. This is lovely, very, very beautiful. And um, a modern, most modern one that is great is La Panthère by Cartier. This is also Flora one. And one that I really, 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 really love is the from the special line Less Exemptions by Mugler. This is Ciprissime. Ciprissime is phenomenal. So in this line, what they do is they take a classical core and they twist it somehow. I don't remember what is the twist of this one um, now but it's, it's really, really beautiful. And very, it's not loud, it's very tamed, but very, very well done. And the House of Amouage, for me, does trip extremely well, especially those older creations. Uh, I have a Fate for Woman. This is wonderful, kind of a spicy. Uvar, a ship floral. This one is very potent as well. Lyric. This is rose. Ship roller, that is a rose one. Very beautiful. This one is very unisex, even though it's marketed for women. And these are uh, testers that I got a long time ago. And this is um, interlude for women. An amazing one that performs amazing in very well in spring is breaking this is very 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 good it and, and also very close to classic uh, shape interpretations very clean and unique lovely for spring and this one look at this bottle the color reminds me of my theme and this is myth Myth is something else, so transportive. It is like like a myth. It's like an alien perfume. It's, it's created by, I don't know, so beautiful. Very good for this. It's not for everyone. And you will have to try many times in different moments to find. But it, it's, a, it's a perfume that calls my name. I, I love it. And also Memoir. Memoir is spicy very 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 glamorous i hope i'm not forgetting anything oh yes i was you know what it's because i'm re-recording all the videos that i have done and it's a little overwhelming to start from scratch again but you gotta do what you gotta do 
One Love by Cher. This one is so pretty and the price is so good. And it's an elegant presentation, very feminine. This one is very feminine. I also have from the past Aromatic Elixirs. This one is Aromatics in Black. A great, great, great one still today. This one is potent. So, and it can be worn by men and women. And I will leave it like that, like that now because <laughs> Again, as I said, it has been a long weekend. Thank you so much. Please do not forget to subscribe. Let me know if you like cheap perfumes and let me know which one is your favorite. If you like classic or you prefer modern. And uh, share if you want. Like and see you in the next video. Bye.